If you're new to foiling, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Jamie Pate and welcome to scrapbook.com. And today I have a few beautiful mink techniques I wanna share with you. Okay, the first thing I'd love to share with you today is taking a beautiful stencil like this lattice stencil. And I have here the Vicki Booten art paper. It's just a great, heavyweight mixed media art paper that is going to play really friendly with this clear texture paste that is also going to react with the mink machine. So here's how this is going to play out. Let's start from the very beginning. Again, if you're not quite familiar with the mink machine, this is the basic way to use this lovely on your desk, in your studio, at home foiling machine. So I have here a carrier folder, which I'm going to place our medium inside of, which I'll show you here in a moment. I have a beautiful selection of reactive foils. And like I said, I've already cut down the art paper to about three by four. And you see in relation to this carrier folder here, this is huge. So here's a little trick I have for you if you are brand new to this. I have already pre-cut this folder down to about a six by six. In a moment, I'll be placing this inside and you're gonna see it doesn't need any time at all to go through the machine. As we get ready to add this texture paste with our stencil, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the mink machine on. It has a little switch here in the very back, but then I need to select my heat. So for this particular process, I'm gonna be at a three. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab our lattice stencil. All these supplies are gonna be linked down below, so you don't need to worry about trying to keep track. They'll be there for you. I'm gonna open up the texture paste and just put a little here on our silicone mat. And I like to use a little bit smaller craft knife. And I come in here and just like you're adding texture paste to any other kind of surface, I'm going to add a nice layer right through the lattice stencil onto this art paper. Now I've cut the art paper down to about three by four. It's just a fun size to play with and to create samples with. And you can save these and have them to add to your scrapbook pages or to your card fronts, or just to remember, this is how I made a particular mink project. Okay, see how beautiful that is? That stenciled beautifully through there. Now, here's the trick. We need to let this dry really well. If we were to put this through our mink machine right now, it would pretty much just smash the design. And what's great about our mink machine is it's warm and this will dry right on top. But please make sure you give it plenty of time to dry. While this technique over here is drying, I wanna show you a really fun technique using the scrapbook.com acetate, as well as the clear sided adhesive roll. We're gonna make a real beautiful yet simple foiled stripe design. Okay, so I have a three by four piece of acetate just sitting here on the silicone mat. And this is really as simple as laying adhesive down on a surface. And again, I'm showing this to you on the acetate, but it is going to work pretty much on any surface. And remember earlier, I cut down the carrier folder, but you can put projects as long, as wide as 12 by 12 through the machine. So don't let size limit you if you want to add a foil design to a traditional scrapbook page. I'm just gonna add three on here for the purpose of this demonstration and pull off the top of the backer paper. And I have set aside here a pre-cut piece of foil. And what you do is just lay it right on top, burnish it with your finger. You can see where it's coming through there, where the little adhesive strips are coming through. And then lift that up. If you feel you need just a little bit more on the surface, lift it up and move the foil a little bit and just do it again. Okay, after you have that covered, lift it up for a beautiful, simple, yet foiled, design there on, again, any surface, any width of adhesive tape will work as well. And you don't need to let this dry. These are still drying over here, but this one's ready to go on any of your projects. Okay, I believe the lattice stencil is good and dry. I'm gonna pop this inside of the carrier sheet that I 
cut down to size previously, and I'm gonna lay the foil shiny side up on top of that textured piece. I'm going to run it through the machine. There's some rollers inside that catch it and it just goes all by itself and it rolls through between the um, rollers that are warm. It's gonna react the foil with the texture paste and you're gonna see a beautiful result. Having gone through the machine, let's look and see what our design looks like and see how beautiful that stencil gold foil is on that paper. And again, it's just gonna be a great piece that you can use on any of your paper projects. You can make this smaller, you can make it larger. Let's see what the hello looks like next. The next little trick I wanna show you is what I have done here is I've taken a piece of the art paper and I laid this two inch double-sided adhesive strip, as you can see, right across the top of it. I took this hello die and went ahead and cut out from the art paper and from the adhesive the hello sentiment. I was gonna get that ready to take the inner pieces off there, take this other inner piece of the H off here, and you're gonna have a lovely sentiment that you can foil and use on your projects as well. Next, I'm going to pull the backer paper off of the top of the hello. And lay the foil right on top. And kind of burnish the sticky to the foil. And you wanna make sure the foil shiny side is up that's what you will see after you pull the foil up from the sentiment. And then if you have a little couple places, just go in and touch them up with the foil. And it's very pretty. All right, three Super easy ways to add some foiling touches to any of your projects using the texture paste and a stencil, using small adhesive strips and larger adhesive and a die cut to create stunning foiled elements.